Our ancestors got to look up to Van Gogh, Picasso, and Mozart. Our parents got to witness Andy Warhol make beautiful art. And who do we get? ChatGPT, Bing, and Synthesia. Damn. In a world where AI is beginning to take over everything we do, the need for human input is becoming less and less necessary. And for mathematical and science-related tasks, this does make sense because computers are cleverer than us, and there is always a right answer to find. However, what if I told you that AI is going to take over the subjective process of art? It's a scary reality, and in this video, we'll be exploring the boundless world of generative AI. But don't worry, everything you're seeing here has been 100% made by a human, so we haven't been taken over just yet. Generative art. Everyone knows that art is a completely subjective experience, and an AI tool could never outperform a trained artist, right? Wrong! The field of generative AI art tools has developed exponentially in the last few years to a point where it can develop some absolutely stunning art. Take Bing Image Creator as an example. All you have to do is tell the bot what you want, and it'll create it for you in a few seconds. Let's say you wanted a picture of a DJ cat eating pizza on top of the Empire State Building. You'd simply plug in your requirements, and in about 30 seconds, you'd be presented with five or six different images to choose from, for free. If you were to hire an artist to do the exact same thing, not only would it take weeks, but it would cost you hundreds of dollars. And Bing isn't the only one to use this kind of tech. Other platforms like Images.ai and Midjourney are dedicated to generative art creation. Sure, they might not be as good as the top artist right now, but who's to say they won't improve in the future? Generative Written Content Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with ChatGPT. It's blown up over the internet in recent months, and people are using it for pretty much everything. I mean, I've seen people hand in school assignments entirely made by AI. Put simply, ChatGPT is a generative AI tool that can create content to fit a set of parameters outlined by the user. To do this, it finds information across the internet from a variety of sources and creates content in the desired format and style. ChatGPT is levels above any other generative writing assistant we've seen, and it has the potential to take over pretty much every writing position in the distant future. Now, I don't want to go over ChatGPT too much because we've got plenty of other videos talking about it on the channel, so if you're interested, make sure to check them out. Generative NFTs Oh, and here's the thing. Generative AI content, like the art pieces we previously talked about, is already being integrated into our lives. For instance, many have used AI generative content to build an NFT collection, which they then sold for millions of dollars. And all it took was a few clicks, the right keywords, and a little advertising on NFT platforms. If you want to look at this closely, check out AI Go's collection. He created Van Gogh's paintings entirely using AI, and they look awesome www.opensea.com is one of the most prominent NFT marketplaces where you can find these collections as well as many others. One thing is for certain, we will see and hear a lot from NFTs in the future. To create a cool looking piece of art from nothing is impressive, but to compose a smooth video which sounds and looks realistic is another feat entirely. Well, generative AI can do this too, and it's absolutely unbelievable. For example, let's take a look at this platform called Synthesia. Synthesia allows you to create an explainer video with a lifelike avatar entirely from scratch. Instead of paying thousands for the right cameras, lighting, and mics, you can just pay $30 a month and create unlimited videos. And you don't even have to get in front of the camera, which is a bonus. Another great generative video tool is Pictory. With Pictory, you simply have to provide a video script and it will create an accompanying video with relevant shots and information. This tool alone can cut the cost of video production by hundreds of dollars. And this tech is already being integrated by businesses in a wide variety of settings. For instance, people have created entire YouTube channels without ever writing a script or filming a B-shot. They simply get ChatGPT to create a script and a platform like Pictory to create an accompanying video. They then upload the video, rack up millions of views, and watch the money roll in. Other businesses are using Synthesia's generative content as the basis of their video sales letters, which makes their website look professional, leading to plenty more sales. 
Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Right now, you can definitely tell the difference between a human and a Synthesia avatar, so we don't need to worry about what's real and what's not just yet. But in the future, when tech advances to new heights, who knows how realistic generative video will be. If you've made it this far into the video, be sure to show your support by subscribing. We're all human after all, or are we? Generative Editing Another unbelievable way generative AI can enhance content is through automated video editing. Now, if you've ever run your own YouTube channel before, you're probably all too aware that editing takes up about 90% of your time. Well, that was until a platform called Descript was released. Descript will automatically tidy up your content by trimming out unnecessary gaps and smoothing out transitions. It's a great little tool to make your videos look much more professional. This software can even be used to repurpose content from podcasts or long-form videos into social media posts. And for any influencer out there, being able to automate this is invaluable. Generative editing software isn't yet at the point where it can create entire videos, though. Right now, it's more of a tidy-up tool that can save you a chunk of time on the back end of your editing process. So, to all you video editors out there, you're safe for now. Generative Copying Tools one of the slightly weirder uses of generative AI tools is the ability to create custom videos of real people talking. If that doesn't make much sense right now, hold on, I'm about to explain. Platforms such as rephrase.ai allow you to plug in a custom script for an avatar to read out. But here's the thing, the avatars are modeled after real people. This means that you can quite literally create a video of Barack Obama saying he has an impulsive fear of ducks President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Most people are going to use these kinds of platforms in a light-hearted manner, but there's always the fear that generative AI content can be used for malicious purposes, like destroying someone's reputation by creating a video that paints them in a bad light. The future. So, as you can probably tell, there's been a bit of a theme running throughout the course of this video. AI generative content is awesome, but it's not quite there yet. Despite being quicker than humans, these tools aren't yet better than us. This means that, for now, your jobs are probably safe because employers will prefer quality over quantity. I believe that the way to stand out as an employee or freelancer is to use AI to your advantage. Use AI to use the best of both worlds, your creativity and emotional connection, together with the knowledge and speed of AI. However, generative AI is only in its infancy, and in a few years' time, who knows if we'll be able to tell the difference between AI art and human art, or an AI written article, or a human article. It's exciting, but it's also scary, because what these generative platforms are showing us is that one day, humans aren't going to be needed. And on that daunting note, subscribe, or we're coming for you! <laughs> Just kidding. But if you want to show your support for the human race, subscribe and smash that thumbs up button because we're 100% human made on this channel. Join us for all things AI. And with that, we'll see you out there in the digital realm.